Hi, and welcome. I'm so glad you found my channel. My name is Erin, and on my videos, I show you how to create DIY bath and beauty products. So let's go ahead and get started with this week's video. Today, I'll be showing you how to create a bay leaf and rosemary hair butter. This is great for really anybody who is looking to nourish, strengthen, and grow the hair. So let's go ahead and get started. To begin with, I'll be adding some shea butter to my heat safe container. Shea butter is really great for just overall good hair health. Next, I will be adding some olive oil. Olive oil is great for conditioning dry hair. It also helps to repair damage and strengthen the hair follicles. When combined with the shea butter, olive oil is great for just making the butter have a really nice texture and not gritty. Now that the olive oil has been added, it's time to go ahead and melt the ingredients. You want to make sure to set this on the lowest setting possible. During the melting process, it's really important that periodically you check the temperature of your ingredients. You do not want it to go over 138 degrees Fahrenheit, and the reason for that is you do not want to destroy any of those important nutrients. Once I have checked the temperature, I'm now going to go ahead and weigh out my dried plant material. I have chosen to use some rosemary and bay leaves and both of these ingredients are great for strengthening the hair and promoting hair growth all right so here we have all my ingredients have completely melted and i'm adding my bay leaf and rosemary to them i am going to put this on the lowest setting in my crock pot this is one that i use for a lot of my just cosmetics. I don't use it for cooking. I specifically only use it for making products. And I will be leaving this to infuse for about four hours. So now it's time to go ahead and strain out all those dried plant materials that I used. And I will be doing this by way of using the strainer. So now that the plant material has been removed, I will be placing this in my freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes. I want it to become a little more firm in consistency, but I do not want it to become completely solid. So after 12 minutes, I removed this from the freezer and here's what it looks like. At this point, you can either use it right away or you can put it in a container. I will just be allowing this to sit on my counter for about 30 minutes. And this is a great way to use any dried herbs or plant material to just create a luxurious butter for the hair. So here is the finished product. I really enjoyed making this and doing the research and everything that came along with it to create this hair butter. I have used it in my own hair and I find that my hair is not as dry and it really has been making it feel nice and soft. So here's the formula along with any substitutions for this hair butter that I showed you today. I would suggest not using another oil unless you absolutely just can't stand olive oil. I felt like the olive oil was the best oil when it came to reducing that grittiness in the finished product. So thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see more DIY formulas, don't forget to like and subscribe. 